hey guys welcome to another video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at casa os but not in the usual way where we install a new thing or basically just uh create a new container uh do uh a tour around the settings today we're gonna be asking the question like what's going on with casa os guys because you know, like I've been looking at it and we've been uh, on the same version for a while now and there hasn't been any updates. And this morning I was looking and it seems that they may have a new version. You see how it says here that they have upgraded Casa OS to Zima OS. Um, it seems that they might have basically abandoned it and probably moved it to um, Zima OS. So we're going to be looking into it this um, in the future. One of the things, guys, that I like about Casa OS, as you guys know, is that the simplicity of use, the basically very simple and beautiful UI with all of these applications that you can install with one click. All of these are the things that I find positive about Casa OS. But the fact that it would have been abandoned, and if you go on their GitHub here, you can see that the last update was on December 18th. So to me, I was getting worried a little bit uh, that maybe there is not going to be any uh, new updates. And uh, all of the updates that they have done in the last one was basically some cloud storage stuff and uh, a few things here and there. So I would say, guys, maybe it's time for us to update to Zima OS. If you're using Casa OS, I think that if you're not getting any more security features, um, it's not uh, a good deal at this point. It's been one year without any updates. So I think that you know, maybe it's time for us to start looking into uh, Zima OS. And in my next videos, I'm going to be looking into it and see what we can learn from there. Hopefully, we keep this good interface and we keep all of the good things we have come to expect from Casa OS and that Zima OS will not be disappointing. So I'm just telling you guys that if you're using Casa OS, uh, and you are on the last version. I think this is 0 0.4.15. And if you're still using this, guys, I think that, you know, if it's a box that you keep in a basement, it's just doing one task, I guess it's okay. But if you're using this for something very important, like uh, maybe a proxy or something like this that is on the internet, probably look into upgrading or something like that. Uh, it looks like the team from Icewell is now focusing more on the Zima OS more than uh, than uh, Casa OS. And as you can see, the Zima OS here is a NAS OS that basically kind of has the back the the bones of casa os but with way more nas features and i think this is a better um to my view a better uh operating system for a nas but casa os was very good because you can you could have used it on a smaller a uh, smaller device like a mini PC without any problems. Uh, but this one is more uh, beefier where you can actually have multiple drives and do uh, uh, set up a red system and you have all these applications. And it's really, really, really um, intuitive too. And in my next videos, I think we're going to be taking a look at it and we'll be probably just uh, installing it and see, uh, taking a look around at the features and see if this is something that we should pursue on our channel. Because I think that all of the app stores that we have on Casa OS probably also exist on the Zima OS uh, app store. So I'm going to be taking a look at that, guys. So just as a service announcement, if you're running Casa OS, guys, and you haven't seen any updates and you are um, using this for critical or any type of production environment, it's probably a good idea for you to update. One other thing that you can always do is to SSH on your machine here and basically just uh, log in and just use your, um, uh, yeah, log in and do an apt update you know you can also if you're running this as myself i'm running this from uh, proxmox you can go to your machine in proxmox and from there 
do an update from there as well. So that's one of the things you can do. So I'm just telling you guys, if you're running Casa OS, uh, I don't know if there has been any official updates from the team that, you know, you know, like uh, people should move to the to to Zima OS. But clearly you can see on their website, on the Casa OS website here, it says that they have upgraded Casa OS to Zima OS. So think about that uh, when you're installing it and using your Casa OS. So that's been it for me, guys, for today's video. Uh, thank you for being here and checking out uh, my channel. If you're new, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, more to come. Thank you. Bye-bye.